Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Some breaking news coming in the last hour or so on the channel. Or, not on the channel, but such, but on, on Sky Sports, and I've seen it on a couple of online tweets as well. And Postacoglu has verbally agreed to join Celtic with the deal to be confirmed in the coming days. Postacoglu will play in his final game with Ucam on Wednesday, then obviously fly fly out on Thursday to complete, complete the deal with a shown after quarantine at his arrival to Scotland but should be out for the start of Celtic training camp in Wales. So we're talking like maybe the Celtic board have already told him which players are going to be in, you know, and want to be there next season and not going to be there next season so we can build up. Also, it is looking likely that Post Coglu assistant will be Kevin Muscat who, who had a season stint at Rangers almost 20 years ago. Ange and Kevin have known each other for a while after they worked together between 2012 and 2013 at Melbourne and Victory. Um, personally, I'm not bored about um, Muscat's links to Rangers. Like, obviously, he's going to come to Celtic as his assistant uh, from Postacoglu. Just long as he and Postacoglu work together for the greater good of Celtic, uh, that, 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 that's what's, that is really good. Um, but it came out of Sky Sports just probably... Probably about um, two hours ago. So I'll try to bring it up again. I'll just wait to see. So we need to quarantine ten days. I think um, it, it might bring, obviously, we, we hardly know this guy, of course, Post Coglu, but he's, he's had some good experience. Um, he's a definitely good experience, obviously, took Australia to the World Cup um, and a lot more stuff. We'll get, we'll see what Sky Sports have got to say. It. Um, the boss in place, Celtic hope to have uh, Post Coglu in place in time in time for a pre-season pre -season training camp. In Wales on July fifth, um, should he complete his move to Celtic, Postecoglou is currently in charge of Yokama F Manros. Would need to come through ten days of quarantine before he can work. Um, Celtic already agreed the compensation for the fifty-five-year-old with Yokama, although the Japanese side are refusing to comment on the story. As well as finalising terms with Postecoglou and Yokama, Celtic will also need to be granted approval by UEFA to appoint the Greek-born boss as he does not hold the required pole licence. Scottish Cup runners-up have applied to the governing... Scot Did I just say Scottish Cup? Scottish Premiership runners-up have applied to the governing body for exemption known as a recognition of competence procedure and understood to be confident that Postal is 25 years in management will see their application approved. Um, Postal has been in charge of Yokohama since February 2018 and led the club to Japanese title a year later. He has also coached a Brisbane Roar. He won the Australian title as Melbourne Victory while well, he led Australia to success in the 2015 Asian Cup. During his four-year spell in charge of the national team, um, Celtic's players are expected to return to their Lennox Town training ground on June 17th before heading to their nine-day training camp in Wales. As I heard, it's really, it's a really good training camp, so surely, surely we get something the next season, you know. But um, I've heard it's a good training site. Um, Celtic Champions League qualifiers that will enter the competition in the second qualifying round are scarce to begin in the week comments in July 19. That's not far. If we're talking from today, one, two, three, four, five, six, six weeks. We're talking about six weeks. Six weeks today. That's the first Champions League qualifier for Celtic. Um, appointing Postal as Celtic manager would be a big risk, according to former Australia goalkeeper Mark Bonsnich. Celtic tar targeted former Australia boss. Sorry, the bad idea, don't you? After negotiations, no negotiations obviously broke down between obviously Celtic and Eddie Howe. The board have been searching for a new manager since Neil Lennon resigned in February. I think it's like 103 days now, which is mad. Um, the Australian goalkeeper said he did he did have a fantastic time here at a club called Brisbane Roar, where he pretty much revolutionised the way football was played over here, and he, he's won the title in his first foray in Asia. I can understand the angst from Celtic supporters because winning the title here in Australia and winning the title in Japan is not managed in, in the Scottish Premiership or nor is it managed in a club the size of Celtic whose worldwide support is right up there and they're an absolutely massive club. If he does not get appointed, he, he does deserve a chance but it is a big risk, there's no doubt about that. So Celtic are taking a big risk but I think, obviously whoever I said to it when we were talking about the Mangiro man, situation, 
puller comes in, I wish the best luck. And like, you you got to just wish him the best of luck. You just got to go for him. Just stick with him until obviously if things go wrong, obviously, and then you got to change your mindset. But just go, just think positive about the um, Ange Foster logo, and then you know if things go wrong, they go wrong. But you know, I think surely we wish him all the best because hopefully he does well at Celtic. I'm hoping so. Um, and he wants Kevin Muscat to be his assistant. So. He used to play for Rangers about 20 years ago, I think I said that. Um, he had a stint, so he wasn't that good. Um, but it is interesting. So, but it, it, it's not. I don't like to see John Kennedy still at the club. I, I, I get him in right away, Postecoglou. Get the get the assistant done, and then to make sure John Kennedy's well at that building. We don't see him anywhere. I mean, Jesus, John Kennedy, man. I thought he couldn't be any worse than Neil Lennon, but somehow he's managed to he's managed to do that well on Gavin Stratton. I don't know how Gavin Stratton got into that job, but God knows. But thanks guys for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Probably a LA Euro video. I think I've, I've recorded a Euro video that's going out on Wednesday um, or Tuesday tomorrow. I don't know. I just recorded on Monday, so um, it's, it's also going out the same day because obviously that, that's the story that's happening. Um, and or else if any other Celtic news breaks through, um, maybe we'll probably maybe do a wee video about when he signs, what can we expect and all that stuff. But um, the breaking news uh, and the Ange Postecoglou verbally agrees to become the next Celtic manager and along he's going to try and bring in Muscat who had a stint at Rangers. Um, thanks for watching guys, as I said, subscribe and like and I'll see you guys for the next video soon. Peace.